What's going on guys? It's Greg here, AKA New York Prepper. In this video, I just wanna show you guys a list of nuclear war targets that I compiled and uploaded to my website. And you can access my website in the description box below this video, but it's www.newyorkprepper.com, spelled out New York. And it's all one word, newyorkprepper.com. And I always put a link to my website in every video I upload. So you can always find that link in any of my videos. But this is my website here. And if you go to the blog section of my website, and when you get to the blog section here, you can see NY Prepper blog, prepare, practice, persevere. And you go down to my posts. I just posted this here, major nuclear war targets in America. Do you live near one? And click on that. And I write a little description here of uh, certain basic criteria and information. But here's the list that I compiled every single state in the country. So you can find your state where you live or where you work or where your family is or where your bug out location is or where you're thinking of moving to or where you're thinking of building a bug out location. Um, I highly recommend you guys look through this list here. Uh, I spent about two hours last night typing this up and uh, uploading it to my website. Um, and I also sent out an email campaign to my uh, subscribers who subscribe to uh, email alerts through my website. I blasted a, an email campaign last night. Um, but you can go to any one of your, uh, any state in the country here. Um, and it, I listed out all the primary nuclear targets. Now there's also secondary and tertiary targets, but that would be a huge list. And I think it would just take away from, um, you know, the primary targets. If you start to focus on secondary targets and tertiary targets, it gets a little bit overwhelming. So I just put a list of primary targets here. So these are the primary targets in a nuclear war with Russia and China. And these are the main targets that they would try to hit in a nuclear war. So here, for example, you have Alabama, you have Anniston Army Depot and Redstone Arsenal. In Alaska, you have the Alaska Radar System and you have Elmendorf and Fort Greeley. OK, um, now one thing you'll notice when you're looking through this list here is you have your primary targets, but then highlighted in red, you have what are called major targets and Anytime you see this major target highlighted in red, you want to steer clear of those areas. You want to be very far away from these areas. You don't want to be within 100 miles. Ideally, if you could live 100 miles away or even further than that from these targets, that's a really good thing. Um, because any of these major targets that I have highlighted here are going to sustain uh, multiple nuclear attacks from possibly dozens or hundreds of nuclear warheads. So here, for example, you have Peterson Air Force Base, NORAD, and Cheyenne Mountain Complex in Colorado. That's a major target. You have in Connecticut, the New London Naval Submarine Base is a major target. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I recommend you guys look through this list here and find your state where you live and, you know, whatever uh, areas you plan to move to and check this list out. Um, I highly recommend it. This way you don't move into an area where, you know, you're going to be subjected to nuclear blasts. If there was ever a nuclear war, um, you know, you have a lot of targets here to look through and you always want to be as far away from these targets as possible. Um, if you can't move far away from them or if you already live near them, um, not a big deal. You just have to make sure you have a good plan and make sure you have a suitable shelter. Depending on how close you are to these targets, you will need a shelter that will protect you from, at the very minimum, fallout radiation. 
But if you're very close to one of these targets, you're also going to need a shelter that's suitable to protect you from blast and overpressure from the nuclear blast wave that's going to come through and destroy everything and also the thermal radiation. Um, but the good news is usually a shelter that's suitable for fallout will usually be also suitable for blast protection and many times thermal protection, um, which is heat basically. Um, so I uh, just wanted to share this with you guys. And I recommend what you guys do also is when you go to my uh, when you go to my website, you go to the bottom of, of the website here and you can see it says subscribe for news and updates. You put your email in here and then hit submit. And what this will do is sign you up for my email list. And don't worry, I'm not going to blast you with marketing and clog up your email. I personally don't have time to send out marketing emails. Um, this is just if there's anything important that I want to share with you guys. Um, I can send it through your email this way. Um, you know, this way we're not dependent on the YouTube platform. That's one of the reasons why I created my website is to uh, have another uh, form of communicating with you guys and sharing information and disseminating information. Um, so subscribe for the uh, alerts here down below. Um, I recently just did a email blast with uh, when I uploaded this blog last night, I sent out an alert to all the people who are subscribed. So if you're subscribed, you should check your email and you'll get a, a little uh, email just showing you guys the link to this blog here so you can read this list. Um, but anytime there's breaking news, I try to uh, send out an email blast. If there's, let's say, an incoming hurricane or uh, we're on the verge of World War III or there's something very important I want to share with you guys, I'll send you this uh, email alert. Um, it's only for really important things. Again, um, I've only used this a few times already and I've had this website for about a year so you're not going to be getting daily um, junk mail from me, okay? This is only just for uh, really serious news. I like to save this for the serious stuff. And, um, you know, just to alert you guys on, on, you know, things that are going on in the world and also with my channel. Um, and one final thing, too, is um, I also recommend you guys register for my website uh, for the discussion forum. So I have a free discussion forum and um, I created it. So this way, if you guys want to keep in touch with each other outside of YouTube, you can um, go to my forum and it's 100% free. Uh, I'm not charging you guys anything for this. Here's some posts from some of my uh, subscribers here. But, um, you know, just register, put your email in, create a password and this way you can keep in touch with people. I have uh, a whole a whole bunch of different um, sections in the uh, discussion forum here. You can even do a, I have a classified section. Um, you know, there's all kinds of stuff here. So um, I recommend you guys um, register for my discussion forum. If you need to get in contact with me, you can always send me an email. But I also have this form here. Um, you know, you can use this form to get in touch with me and, uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to also support me, you can donate. Um, there's a button at the top here and it goes to my PayPal. Uh, it does cost money to keep things running, to keep the lights on. So any amount of donations is always helpful. Uh, I put a lot of time into my videos and, you know, maintaining my website. Um, it takes a lot of time. And, um, you know, sometimes YouTube doesn't really pay me enough. So uh, donate donations are always helpful. Um, and then you can click on store. And if you want to get some NY Prepper merchandise, this is what I have right now. I have my T-shirts here. I have men's and women's T-shirts. I have coffee mugs. I have a tote bag here. Um, I also have some uh, fleeces and blankets and stuff. So that's another way you can support my channel. I'm also going to add different designs here in the coming months. I have some other designs that I'm working on. Um, 
But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. So check out my blog. I'm going to be updating my blog more often now. And I'm going to be doing more things with my website over the next few months. And I'm going to be more active with my website. So uh, check my website periodically. Subscribe to my uh, email alerts. And I'm going to be sending out alerts more often, especially now that we're in hurricane season. Um, and because there's so many things going on, it's just a, another way that I can uh, get information out to you guys if, you know, YouTube is down or um, you know, sometimes YouTube doesn't notify people. So that's a great way to stay updated. But um, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. And as always, take care. God bless. And don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.